Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you the app Vlingo. Vlingo is a voice activated assistant that is pretty much Android's answer to uh, iPhone Siri. You can do a huge host of things with this and you'll see what you can do when, right when you open the app. It'll give you uh, a bunch of examples by asking what would you like to do and you can send messages, find businesses, get answers, get a taxi, book a hotel, buy movie tickets, think a bunch of things you can do. Uh, if you check the auto listen on the bottom, right when you open up Vlingo, it'll automatically listen, so you don't have to press speak it when you open Vlingo up. Uh, on the top left, you have an icon that's a speaker with an X on it. If you were to press it, then Safe Reader would be enabled. Any kind of incoming text messages that uh, you receive, Vlingo, Vlingo will read them off to you. So that's pretty handy if you're in your car or driving or if you just want to walk around and don't feel like going in your pocket and uh, checking to see what your text message just said. It'll read it off to you. On the top right you see that steering wheel. That's for when you're in your car. It's for car mode. We'll go over that after this. So let's, uh, let's test this out real quick. I'm going to press speak it then ask for some movie tickets buy tickets for Avengers alright so it took me to my browser Fandango and Marvel's The Avengers so it'll show me give me my show times uh, the theaters and I can buy tickets from Fandango so sweet, that works. Let's go back out. All right, let's ask it a question, see if it can give me an answer. Who was the first man on the moon? Neil Armstrong was the first person to step foot on the moon on July 21st, 1969. All right, so you can see, you can ask a question, it'll answer it. You have to be, make sure you're very clear and you speak out uh, you you pronunciate all your all your words. So okay, let's go to car mode real quick, and you can complete action using either uh, Google Text to Speech engine or since I have a Samsung phone, you got your Samsung Text to Speech. So let's go to Google Text to Speech engine. All right, so you got let's let's see if if I had it in my truck right now, it would be in landscape mode. So it looks something like this. You have your call, text, navigate, and safe reader. Safe reader will obviously do what I said before. It will read all your texts coming in and emails if you set it up. All right, and if you see this icon right here, it's a little red light or dot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can say something like, hey, Vlingo. Like and it will get Vlingo's attention. You'll be able to make any kind of command instead of having to tap and speak or do anything of that nature. So uh, let's let's try this real quick. Hey Vlingo. What would you like to do? Navigate to Canada. Navigate to Canada. Alright, apparently Canada is not a valid address. Let's try <laughs> let's try something else. Hey Vlingo Navigate to Seattle, Washington. Navigate to Seattle, Washington. All right, as you can see, I'm using Telenav. Uh, I like that a little bit better than uh, the Google navigation. All right, so there we go. Uh, I have my navigate, my directions, and it just went straight to it. So that's pretty cool. And let's back out back out again all right as you can see from the settings you have your sounds you can play your web search engine you could change from Google Bing to Yahoo uh, auto dial hide offensive words with asterisks uh, then you have your in-car settings uh, safe reader settings social settings advanced settings uh, it says settings for nerds on the bottom of it and you can see you know, there's a lot of things you could uh, mess around with and just make it towards your uh, personal experience. But all in all, that is basically it. 
Uh, you can also remove the ads if you want. You just hit settings, go to remove ads, and it'll take you to uh, the Google Play Store where you can pay for it and you don't have to deal with those pesky ads anymore. All right, so that's it for Vlingo. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, it's something definitely to look into. I mean, it's free. You can uh, spend a little bit of money to remove the ads, but it's not that expensive. Uh, just try it out. And if you're big into the voice command apps and you've been looking for something that'll rival uh, Siri, then this is definitely the thing you want to go for. All right, go ahead and rate my video, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below if you'd like. Uh, and also, make sure you subscribe to AC Syndicate TV, where we provide uh, great videos for Android development, apps, and news whenever it co uh, comes available. This is Spotlight Guy. Thank you very much. Signing out.